Hi everyone, my name is Laura and today I'll be sharing with you guys how I transform my everyday makeup into kind of after work nighttime makeup. So if you'd like to see how I do that, then just keep watching. So my makeup looks pretty like bleh right now. This is me wearing my makeup since 6.30 in the morning and it is currently, what time is it? It's 5.52. I just came home from work and this is what my makeup looks like. I haven't touched it up with any powder or anything like that and I'm looking like super dewy. Now what I do is kind of just what I found works for me. I've been working full time for quite a few years now and I've kind of just gotten used to like having to go out after work or not having to but wanting to go out after work to see friends and stuff and I would always like allow like half an hour for me to like get this done and like kind of just compose myself, get ready, and then like have enough time to also meet up with my friends. Cause where I used to work in the city, I don't work there anymore. Thank God, hated that place. But yeah, where I used to work, I was really like central to everything kind of. So it was really, really good. Um, I was close to everything. Now I'm not, I literally work like an hour out of the city. Maybe not an hour, a little bit less, but I'm close to my house, yay. But anyway, so what I do is I start off with a setting spray. Now you're kind of like, what a setting spray like why would you do that um i used to blot my oils away but i don't have time for that anymore and i'm really lazy and i haven't bought blotting sheets in like two years so whatever but i go in with a kind of like setting spray so you can use like mac fix plus they make like a small little trouble one if you want to like keep that in your makeup bag this one from nyx is really really cute and small and good it does the job maybelline does one of nikkei skindinavia I feel like every brand is coming out with like a setting spray. Now I'm not using this to like set. I'm using this to kind of revive my foundation so I can kind of like adjust with it kind of thing and make it look like less old and like less like it's been on my face for like 12 hours. Now I'll be honest, I probably use a little bit more setting spray than I would when I'm normally setting up my face setting up my face, setting my face. I just tied my hair back so like it's not in the way. I use a little bit extra than what I would normally use. Now, what I do is I grab a foundation brush. This one has hair shedding. It's just from Jessup. I got it from eBay for a few dollars. And I'm just going to start tapping my skin and tapping this setting spray in. The reason why I do this is if I need to apply concealer or anything like that, the setting spray has kind of like I guess moistened back my foundation and I can like spot conceal and stuff like that. Before we move on, you can see my lips look kind of gross. This is literally just how I look. Like this is just me, how I did my makeup in the day, like at the start of the day, work all day through work, not touching up anything, not my lips, not my face, nothing. Like this is just how it turned out like before. Obviously I put on settings right now, but I'm gonna put on lip balm. It can be any lip balm. This one's from Nivea. It's the pure and natural milk and honey. I don't think it's actually that natural. But anyway, that's just my opinion. I just put a little bit on this on my lips because, let's be real, I haven't put anything on them all day because I've been so busy. Like, honestly, I feel like I'm so stressed on my new job, but I'm sure it will all be worth it in the end. Now, depending on how my skin feels, I might go in with a little bit more setting spray, basically just to revive my foundation. So I'm gonna go with a little bit more just cause I feel like it and it's really, really hot in Australia and I'm wearing like a quarter, a half sleeve and I'm so hot, but this is how I had to dress for work because it's so hot, cold at work. I was about to say so hot at work, but it's actually so cold. And if you need to just apply a little bit concealer wherever, like you might have a blemish that's faded a little bit or anything like that. Um, one that I really, really like is from Maybelline. It is the, what is this even called? It's called the Master Conceal by Face Studio. This one is way too light for me, but I'm just gonna apply a little dab underneath my eyes just to kind of conceal those a little bit more. Now in my head, this feels like it's really, really minimal makeup that you need to pack, but realistically, it's not that minimal. But I like to keep like just a little bit of a makeup bag like at my desk at work and I just keep it there like just for like touch-ups or emergencies. Not that I do any touch-ups at work, but you know. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that underneath my eyes. Grab my beauty blender. Yes, I keep a beauty blender at work. Well, at least I used to. I don't at this job because I have a car. So I just bring everything in my handbag and then it goes in my car. I don't have to like commute to work anymore. So now I'm gonna set my under eyes. I'm gonna be using the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight 
at the one that Chloe Morelli collaborated with. To be completely honest, I don't like this at all. I would not recommend it. Um, I'm only using it because it does have a really, really nice mirror. Um, and I want to use it up because I paid money for it. So I want to be able to use that up. So I'm just going to set underneath my eyes using the banana powder. If you guys want a good drugstore under eye setting powder, I always use the Maybelline Matte Maker. It looks like this. Like, I love it so much. I've hit pan. Like, this is my everyday under eye setting powder. I love it so much. I've gone through so many of them. But I'm just using the Revlon one because I want to use it up. Moving on to the face, I'm going to be using the Australis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder. This is a very, very close dupe to the MAC Studio Fix powder, which I love. But this is obviously more affordable, so you can kind of just keep it at your desk and it's not like, it's not going to like affect you too much. Like, it's just like, like if it got lost, it's not like super expensive to replace type of thing. But I do love the MAC one as well, but this one is cruelty free. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this large Eco Tools. It's called a domed bronzer brush. And I'm going to use this to pack it onto my face because I see this as like a powder foundation. So I just basically tap this in a few times and then tap it onto my skin. And that's going to provide me with extra coverage that I didn't have earlier or that might have faded. And you really don't need much. Like I probably tap like three or four times and then I just tap it onto my face. Now, because that's a little bit matte for my liking, I always like to set it down or like melt it down with a finishing spray. This dewy finish spray is like getting it work out. Like I love it so much. The only thing I wish is that they improved on the pump, but I basically just let that kind of like work into my skin just so I can kind of break down the powder just a little bit. I swear like my beauty crime would be using way too much setting spray, but hey, is there ever like too much setting spray? I don't know. So I'm going to move on to eyebrows. So normally my eyebrows stay in place all day because I do use a pomade. But because I go in with that foundation powder, some powder sometimes gets stuck in it. And they don't, like, it kind of just looks like I've got powder in my eyebrows. So I'm just going to go through with my Maybelline Brow Plumper. I've used mine to death. Like, all the writings come off. But I'm just going to brush this through my eyebrows. And it kind of just helps with any untamed, like, brow hairs and stuff like that. Because I don't use brow, um brow gel in the day I only really use it at night for like this type of thing um, or at least recently just because I don't have time sorry if you guys feel like it's all over the place it's because I feel like I really am all over the place I'm just going to take that Chloe Merlo palette again really it does the purpose of any other contour palette but I'm just going to grab a little bit of this shade right here and I'm just going to work that through my socket just as kind of like a just as like a contour color because obviously this is a contour palette and I want to contour the eye just a little bit. It looks like it's not blended there, but I promise you it's just because of my eye shape. For actual like face stuff, I'm just going to take a little bit of this color here and I'm just going to contour using that. Make sure that the setting spray is actually dry first, otherwise you'll hit a mess, like honestly. And for this one, I'm using the Zoeva 127 Luxe Cheek Brush. I hope you guys find this video helpful because I seriously do this so often or I used to at least. Now I go home and then I get ready and stuff. But like I live so far out of the city that like if I was going to come home and get ready and then go back out, I may as well just stay home. Like it takes me like an hour to get home and then like an hour to go back in and then it'll take me another hour to get back home again. Nah, not for me. Anyway, that's my little rant um, as to why I do this. But yeah. Although there has been one or two times while I've been in my current job where I have actually had to go into the city for like friend birthdays and stuff like that. So this is kind of like just what I do. I just kind of like amp up like what I've already done. Now, if you really want to amp things up, depending on where you're going, you can use like a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow like this one. This is called Million Air. Put it on your eyelids. I'm going to do it. So you just kind of swirl it in. It's super, super pigmented. So I'm just going to use my finger. That's why they're like really, really good because like you just apply it and then like, do you see like that glitter? It's honestly so beautiful. I think this is my favorite color pop super shock shadow. So I just applied that to my eyes. Seriously, like it's such a quick step. Like it really would only take you like maybe a minute because like you just apply it with your finger and it's just like so easy. It does make like a lot of difference. Now, because I did that, I do have to touch up my liner because it's got glitter all over it. So I'm just going to quickly touch it up. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. 
So yeah, it's up to you if you want to do liner or not. It's just because I had liner on before and then it just looked really, really dull. And I was like, oh, dang it, I could have put on liner. But it's really up to you um, if you want to do liner or not. All these steps, it's really just up to you and your own personal preference. So I've put on my bronzer now. I am going to move on to highlighter. To be honest, this highlighter in this kit does just not cut it for me. Like, no, it's not beaming enough. Just no. I'm going to be using the Jouer Citrine Highlighter. I feel like this product is really, really worth the money. I'm just going to take a tiny little bit. Probably would help if I didn't have my hand over the mirror. I'm just going to apply that to my cheekbones. I'm just going to put a little bit down my nose as well. And just a little bit on my forehead and chin. Now, that lip balm that I put on before, I'm getting a tissue. And I'm going to wipe it off my lips. Now, I did have a lip color on before and look, it takes it off. So my lips are nice and hydrated. So this is up to you if you want to use lashes or not. Um, I was just kind of like, I do it sometimes, not all the time, just depending on what I'm doing. So I'm just going to do them for this look just because. So I'm just going to put on some lashes. Like I know this is really, really excessive. Like I wouldn't do this for like every time I go out after work. But if there's just like times where like I feel like I just want to dress up like a little bit more or do like a little bit more to my makeup, this is what I do. I hate when like the label is like, a nice like dark velvet heady nude and then like it's like really really like pink on the lips and I'm just gonna put on Echo Park now okay guys so this is what I basically do um, I either go for a nude lip or sometimes I'll go for a red lip it just really depends on what I have in my handbag at the time but I do like to keep the eyes quite neutral just so I can have that versatility when it comes to my lipstick and then I like to keep the face like quite flawless and glowy and just that type of thing so yeah this is what it looks like I hope you guys learned a few things or maybe you didn't and maybe you hate it definitely let me know in the comments down below I hope you didn't hate it oh my goodness so yeah that's all I have for you guys today I hope you guys enjoyed definitely let me know what you thought in the comments down below because I'd love to know what you guys thought and yeah hopefully I'll see you in my next video bye